Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. And when I say delicious, I am making pumpkin magic cookie bars. If you need another delicious recipe using pumpkin, y'all, this one is it. The word magic, that's what's going to happen when they all disappear. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how easy and how delicious these are. Let's go. Let's do a rundown really quick of what you're going to need to make these pumpkin magic cookie bars. Got graham crackers, canned 100% pure pumpkin, some butter, sweetened condensed milk, pumpkin pie spice. Let's see what we got. We've got some butterscotch chips, walnuts, some chocolate chips, and we have some crushed pecans. These are the toppings and then you can mix and match or add whatever you want to to these cookie bars. Now I am using a baking dish and it's a 9 by 11. What we're going to do is just process our graham crackers to get one and a half cups. You're going to want a fine crumb. Now you can use your food processor or you can put them in a Ziploc bag and roll them over with a rolling pin until you get a fine crumb. Just took about 20 seconds to pulse these and that is the crumb that you were looking for. Now, since I'm using the food processor, I'm going to add half a cup of melted butter into the crumbs here, and then I'm just going to pulse this again. If you place the graham crackers in a Ziploc bag and crush them up that way, that's totally fine. Just put it into a medium bowl and then add your butter and mix that up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it into the processor here to save us a dish. And you just want to make sure that it's going to pack good in the bottom of your baking dish, which this is doing really good. In my baking dish, I'm going to put one tablespoon of butter. Now this is soft butter, and I am just going to spread it to coat the bottom and about halfway up the baking dish. This will aid in getting the cookie bars out. I'm going to take my graham cracker butter mixture Pour it into the bottom of the baking dish. I'm going to evenly spread it out and then press it down really firm. So make sure that it's nice and even. And press, press, press. We're going to make the filling. You just need a medium bowl. Now I've got 100% pure pumpkin and we're going to put one third cup into our bowl. Smells like fall every time. All right, let's add that. Mm. You're going to need one can of sweetened condensed milk. This is 14 ounces. We're just going to pour that all into the pumpkin here. We're going to spice this up with some pumpkin pie spice. We're going to put one teaspoon. I'm using a half a teaspoon here, so there are going to be two going in, but a total of one teaspoon. Take your whisk and then blend this all together. Ooh, that pumpkin pie spice will make it smell like the fall in your house. Not to mention that pumpkin. And if some of y'all may know, I have a beagle. She's eight years old. Her name is Bailey. And she loves pumpkin. 
loves it. So I always save for some out of the can. Let's bring our crust back over and we're gonna pour this in it. And you can lick the bowl, guys. <laughs> There's no eggs in this. I'm just gonna pour it around, get it nice and even. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Here's where we're gonna have fun. You're gonna take your uh, toppings. Now there can be crushed nuts, like I have some walnuts here and some crushed pecans. You can take chips, like chocolate chips, which I got right here. And I've also got butterscotch chips. Oh, it's gonna taste good in there. And then if you have coconut, you can put coconut in here, but we don't do the coconut because my husband doesn't like coconut, shreds coconut. So we're gonna leave that out, but let's go ahead. So what you wanna do is take a cup of your chips and sprinkle them all over the top. Some walnuts. Y'all let me know in the description box what you're putting in your magic cookie bars. I would love to know. Some crushed pecans. And these delicious butterscotch chips. Oh, it smells like fall in there. If you want to put white morsels in here. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna take a spatula and I'm just gonna kind of push everything into that the pumpkin mixture. Let's place this in the oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what's next. If you need more inspiration for pumpkin ideas for the fall, check out these. I will link these down below in the description box, or you can also find the recipes and the videos linked in my katherinesplates.com website. Go check it out. Make sure you're subscribing to my channel if you're new, and don't forget my thumbs up. I'll be back to show you the outcome of this one. Okay, I pulled out our pumpkin magic cookie bars. Now I'm going to allow it to rest on a cooling rack and then we're going to come back. I'm going to cut these and then I'm going to give them a try for you. These smell amazing. Pumpkin Magic Cookie Bars. Oh, who's ready for this one? I am. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. Here's mine. All right, there's my serving. Four squares. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Y'all, that magic happened with these. We already tried a piece. <laughs> mm -mm. Let me tell you what's going on. That butter graham cracker crust, mm, it's really delicious with that pumpkin, the pumpkin spice, and then those toppings. That butterscotch chip, oh my gosh, tastes really delicious on that. When you make these right before people walk in the door, this is what happens <laughs> and it's going to look emptier than that in here in just a minute <laughs> yes it will <laughs> i got my husband on the other side of the camera and he's ready for his all right y'all give me a thumbs up if you're going to make your pumpkin magic cookie bars <laughs> so easy so scrumptious and delicious all right comment down below what you think what you're going to put on your toppings and guys i will see you on the next episode <laughs>